Good morning. How's all my network marketing friends? I'm here, about ready to take off, fly to Arizona, pick up one of my mentors, and then fly to Georgia. But I wanted to jump on real quick and chat with you about a few different things as I get on here. Morning, guys. So it's kind of rare, I'm flying by myself um, this morning. The crews have got everything ready to go. And I'm, uh, like I said, I'm headed to Scottsdale to pick up uh, one of my mentors, uh, Harvey McKay. You ever, you might know Harvey McKay, How to Swim with the Sharks Without Being Eaten Alive. Incredible entrepreneur, uh, really smart guy. And then uh, the two of us are flying to Augusta, Georgia, and we're going to golf for two days at the Augusta National Golf Course in Georgia. And uh, what a treat. Pretty special. Um, playing with Coach Lou Holtz, one of the, an another great thought leader, super smart guy, super fun. But uh, that's not the purpose of jumping on here. The purpose of jumping on and chatting with you uh, this morning is to kind of challenge your thinking. If you're involved in network marketing, too many people in network marketing join an entrepreneurial business and they remain employee-minded. They think like employees, not like entrepreneurs. They they're dependent instead of independent in their thinking. Um, and the difference between entrepreneurs, I mean, entrepreneurs, uh, employees, uh, they, they need support. Employees are dependent on other people. Employees, you know, have an hourly uh, uh, paycheck type of mentality. Entrepreneurs are risk takers. Entrepreneurs solve problems. Entrepreneurs are independent. Entrepreneurs are think about things differently. They think about things differently. And my question to you is, have you brought some old employee-minded habits into your network marketing business? Uh, or are you shifting those old habits into entrepreneurial thoughts? So, give me an example. You're CEO of your business. You're the CEO of your network marketing business. You are. You're not just a distributor. You're not just a rep for somebody else. You're CEO of your company. You're CEO of your life. And are you approaching the building of your business like a CEO? Are you just selling here and there? Are you just recruiting here and there? Do you have a business plan to grow your business? Do you have a strategy to be able to expand your business into new markets? Do you have a strategy for attracting good people? Are you good at filtering through, interviewing people to, to, to determine Who's going to be on your team or do you, do you just take anybody? Think about the ways that, that, you know, do you invest in your business? Entrepreneurs do. Sorry, take this off. Entrepreneurs invest in their business. Employees don't. Employees should just sit back and, and expect everything to be handed to them. Many of you are sitting back expecting everything to be handed to you because you're not thinking like an entrepreneur. Something changes when you start thinking like an entrepreneur and you let go of employee-minded thinking, okay? So, a few assignments for you today. Assignment number one is examine how you're thinking right now. And are you being weak, dependent, um, 
do you need supervision? Do you need somebody to push you? Do you need somebody to help you? Do you just need somebody to support you all the time? Are you looking to your upline to help you? Are you looking to your company to help you? Or are you an independent entrepreneur who is utilizing the assets provided to you but are taking those assets to the next level? It's a really important mindset. It's a really important shift. And until you make that shift, there's only so far you're gonna go. Because you know when, when everybody else is responsible for your success or your failure, you better hope that you're surrounded by the perfect system. So long as you're blaming everybody else for your lack of progress, there's only so far you're gonna go. You've gotta take responsibility. You've gotta create a business plan. You've got to, to develop a strategy to expand your business on whatever it is. If you lack the skills, don't look to somebody else to infuse those skills in you. Go get the skills. Go develop the business plan. Go develop the skills. Go develop the mindset. Go develop the strategy. If you don't know how to expand into a market outside of your hometown, find somebody who will teach you how to develop that strategy to expand into another town. If you don't know how to find a good person in another town, then decide that you're going to fill that skill gap and make that happen. If you don't know how to expand your business, if you're struggling with duplication, solve that problem, okay? Solve the problem of dependence and decide to become independent, okay? So, look, if we lack anything in the network marketing profession, we lack imagination. We're thinking too small. We're playing too small. And I know you have a small price of entry. It didn't cost you very much to join your company. It doesn't cost you very much to maintain your com company. Uh, 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 and it doesn't doesn't cost you very much to join your company. It doesn't cost you very much to maintain your distributorship on a monthly basis. It's everything small. It's all mini size. It's small, small, small. The average person in the United States spends fifty-five thousand dollars to start a traditional business, and in network marketing, it's what thousand bucks. And God forbid somebody charge you for a training, or charge you for tools, or charge you for an event ticket uh, at, at, a, at your company convention. Believe me, your company is losing money at every convention. They would love to pay what you pay to come into a convention, but we have this little do it for me, do it for me, do it for me. But anyway, with, with this small price of entry, sometimes you can get stuck in minimum disease. What's the minimum I can pay in order to be able to qualify for my check? What's the minimum I can do in order to be able to uh, go on the trip? What's the minimum I can do in order to be able to get to that next rank? Minimum, minimum, minimum. And if you stay in minimum too long, if you stay in minimum too long, you get minimum disease. And if people in minimum disease don't end up with the success that they deserve in life. So look, I'm taking off. I want the best for you. Um, I wish you could join me someday on this incredible aircraft. We could fly somewhere and, and chat. I'm looking forward to a couple hours with my mentor being able to pick his brain. And I'm going to turn the camera on uh, while we're in flight and, and record some of it and maybe pass it on to you. But if you'd like me to help you, I'm highly equipped to help you. And if you're ready to step out of minimum disease and into an entrepreneurial mindset, you need to check out GoPro Academy. This is where distributors go to become leaders. It's where leaders go to become legends. It's the most amazing community of network marketing entrepreneurs on planet Earth, okay? Network marketing entrepreneurs on planet Earth. Go check out GoProAcademy.com, GoProAcademy.com, and uh, you'll be glad you did, okay? So, have a good one, headed to Scottsdale.
Um, I'll take some pictures when I get to Augusta and uh, show you what that spectacular place is like. All right, see you later, everybody. Bye-bye.